Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here and I'm here to review episode 10 of The Pretty Little Liars. Um, episode 10 is called Final Girls. So at the beginning of this episode, we get a flashback scenes of Angela arguing with her mom. Her mom really asking her not to go out tonight. This is the night of the 1999 dance where um, Angela does delete herself. Her mom is trying to tell her not to go. And we can see that someone is watching her and her mom argue from the stairs, but we don't know who that is yet. Farron's father is released from jail, so now Farron sees that it was just a threat that the sheriff was doing to her. And maybe she made a mistake by releasing all the information to him and his family. Tabby is still investigating Chip by asking Wes questions. Now, to me, this was very confusing because it's kind of like asking two wolves about wolves, you know? So overall, um, she feels as though she gets the answer she needs because Wes knew the work schedule and Wes knew who was off and who wasn't off in the days they were both off. So she gets information from Wes about Chip's whereabouts. Farron and Imogen share info they have on the sheriff. Angela was assaulted by the sheriff and the sheriff was also dating Imogen's mom. Imogen's mom's body is still considered missing. The girls question each of their mom about Tom Beasley. So each of the moms said they knew about the rumor on Tom Beasley, but they chose not to say anything to the girls. Kelly is pulled from school by her father. And Karen tells um, Kelly that Karen was murdered. So Kelly is telling Farron that her father has pulled her from school completely. And that's when Farron says, well, I just need you to know this, that your sister did not kill herself. She was pushed. She tells her about Mr. A. Tabby tells Imogen it's Chip. Chip is the one who did this to us. It's Chips. Tabby just swears in her mind. It's Chips. It's Chips who did this to us. And then a few scenes later, we find out it really was a bag of chips. Yo, I can't believe it. I actually was surprised. Me personally, I can say that the show did a good job at masking that. Because I did not see it i was like chip is such a good guy they're gonna end up finding out it's somebody else watch it's not gonna be chip it's not gonna be chip then like i want to say the next scene after the girls confront him at the movie theater that's actually when he exposes himself because they kind of catch him up they say they have his dna and stuff like that and he's like well how did you get my dna and they said well we got it from the school drive the blood drive so he's starting to think a little bit so, um, one thing I said Tabby knows is an assaulter. Yes, I had to think about Wes, I had to think about Chip. One thing I could say about Tabby, because she's giving me roller coaster vibes this season. She's giving me ups and downs for your girl. But one thing I can say, she can always peep an assaulter. And that's one thing that she gets pretty good at. She knows an assaulter and she knows how to use them, you know. Um, she's a 15-year-old girl. These are grown men. Um, Chip is the same age as her, but she knows how to use her um, abilities to the best of her to get what she needs. Mr. A is listening to Imogen and goes after Chips. So this is the first time we've really seen um, Mr. A listen to someone. So in my mind, I say you can teach an old dog new tricks because he's never spoke to them before. But all of a sudden, he didn't really speak to them. He spoke to Noah. But when Imogen was like, he hurt us, go after him. He actually does go after him. The girls search Angela's house for clues about Mr. A. They find a photo and they find like height marks on the wall. So they figure out there was an additional sibling. The moms are being kidnapped one by one as the girls are rummaging through the water's home finding out clues. Mr. A calls the girls back to school after hours because he wants to have a final test with them. Tabby has to car. Oh, so each one of the girls has a task. Tabby has to carve an A into Chip's chest. Noah has to drug the man who's been giving her mom drugs. Mouse has to choose to trap Steve, like in a whole bunch of mouse traps. Farron has the option to mutilate her ballet teacher with the um, like a nail drill. And Imogen has the ability to co co confront her mom's corpse. Which she does. Because we hear all the other girls saying they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. But we know that Imogen does deal with her test. Which is digging in her dead mom's corpse. She has to dig like secrets out of her mom's mouth. But it's the corpse of her mom. 
a lot of the stuff reminded me of the Saw movies, like a lot of the stuff they wanted them to do. The principal is on... Oh, yeah, the principal is in on the gag after all. Yes. So the principal of the school is Angela Waters' father. Angela has an older brother named Archie. That's who's been doing the murders, y'all. It's Archie. That's who Mr. A is. Archie. So this next scene is Kelly versus her dad. Kelly's trying to sneak out of the house to help the girls. That's when he says he's never going to let her leave. Kelly is basically challenging him at this point. She's like, Dad, you know, you're unhinged. You're in denial. And the mom's sitting at the table like, what? What's really going on? What's tea? She just can't believe what she's hearing her daughter say. The daughter is basically expressing to her mom, dad did this stuff. He did all this. And the mom is just sitting there like, what? What do you mean about? So she gets up looking screw face like crazy. But that's when the father raises a gun to um, Kelly. And he's like, you know how many bullets are in this gun? And she looking at him. She said, no, I don't. And he like, it's only three. I meant when I told you, you ain't never leaving this house again. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, this show is getting juicy. When your father tells you, you're never leaving home again, child. <laughs> That's when all I got to say is, a mother going to do what a mother got to do. Kelly's mom steps up to several plates. And she gut punches the father. I'm saying gut punch. Y'all know what she did. She's seen the show. She handled that father. She had, what, a 12-inch, 14-inch knife? I'm just saying gut punch because we on YouTube. She gut punched that father twice with a 14-incher. All right, that's what I'm going to let y'all know. And I'm going to give it up for her mother. Her mother finally woke up this episode and is finally realizing that she has to be a defense for these children. These children are all she has. She told the father as she was gut punching him with a 14 inch knife. She was telling him, I already lost one child due to you. I will protect the next one. Yes! That's what I like a real mother. Stepping up to the plate to protect her child. I think that's very important. And I'm glad her character has some development. Yes. Because her character was definitely flatlined this whole series. Her character was very z z z z z, But she managed to wake up. Which I'm very happy. And she defended her child. Yes. Kelly's mom finally woke up. Yep. A true mother. She handled time herself. Yes. Imogen mom was the biggest bully out of all the girls. This is something we know. Imogen finds out. Imogen mom took her own life. So we find out that Imogen mom took herself out of the game. Because she felt like she was one of the worst people left in life. So she just wanted to take herself out of the game. Which she successfully did. Mr. A chases Imogen. Yes. So the principal sends Mr. A after Imogen. Saying since her mom took the easy way out. Handle the daughter. So Mr. A started chasing after Imogen. Um, when um, Kelly. Because Kelly managed to go down to the local bar. She know that's where the athletes hang out at. She went down to the local bar and she got Greg. She said, Greg, I need your help. Greg had my back. So Greg helps her. Her and Greg get up to the school. The principal then shoot up, shot up Greg, y'all. He done shot up Greg. <laughs> Tabby knocks out the principal. When the principal, you know, starts shooting at Greg, she knocks him out with a sign that she had hidden in her jacket. Now, this is chasing with Imogen and Mr. A was intense. Imogen was fighting. She was running. She was having contractions. It was crazy. When I tell you this man was slamming her around, dragging her around, tossing her around, this girl ain't know what to do. But when I tell you this girl fought for every life she had left, Imogen fought for that life, her and the babies. So she fights Mr. A and she ends up winning. She ends up um, handling him in his neck a few times and she ends up getting the knife up out of him a few times. Yes. Um, and then we find out she wins. All the girls run to the house and they, um, find Imogen and they decide to help her. So when we get to the next scene, we find out that Imogen has had her baby. Um, but there's also bad news. The same hospital Imogen is in, Mr. A is in, the sheriff is in, Chips and the principal have been arrested. And Imogen had a baby girl, which is good news. But the bad news is that all of them was held and housed in the same hospital. So, of course, Imogen wants to get out of there as soon as possible. We see a cute Christmas scene. And Noah's mom announces to the whole party that she will be going to rehab. Um, Corey and Sydney, which are Tabby's and Farron's mom, pulls the girls to the side. Just Tabby and Imogen. 
and tell them that Chip has been released for holiday. And they're like, how can he be released? And they're like, well, his parents paid the, bi the bill and they said they wanted him to be home for the holidays. Tabby and Imogen pursue charges. Farron's mom, Corey, agrees to help the girls with their pursuit. In a scene in a bedroom, Imogen is talking to Tabby and Imogen is agreeing to give her baby up for adoption. She said the, the couple lives in Rosewood Lane. That's where her and Tabby went to before Tabby agrees to ride with her. Imogen believes the nightmare is over. But in another scene, we see that Sheriff Beasley is found dead at the hospital, stabbed up in his gut a few times. Um, Chip is attacked by Mr. A in the final scene, but it goes black, so we don't really know if Chip fights back or if he gets him. We don't know. But my thing is, I understand why he got Tom, because he found out what Tom did. But why he going after Chip? Why he ain't going after the girls? I don't know. A little confusing to me. And I also noticed something at the end. It said HBO Max Green. It was filmed in New York. So this is the final episode, I think. And if you guys are interested, I will be coming out with a few theory videos. Just a few ideas I'm having. Like if we get a, se a season two, how could it continue? And some of my thoughts on the characters. I don't know if I'm going to split it up into multiples of videos. I might. I might do that and then you know yeah put those videos up so stay tuned to the channel if you want to see more like share and subscribe let me know what you thought about this season um I'm gonna also get my thoughts on this season in a separate video as well like as a collective so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that um, and thank you guys for checking out the Pretty Little Liars podcast. This was episode 10 recap of season one. Pretty Little Liars, the original sins. Oh, yes. So thank you guys for checking me out and stay tuned for those theory videos. Stay locked to the channel.